Do you have a screen that needs to be replaced? Believe it or not, replacing your own screen is very easy to do. Watch this quick video and follow our step-by-step -step instructions for installing pet-resistant screen from New York Wire into an existing frame. Pet-resistant screen is an ultra-strong screening that resists tears and damage caused by cats and dogs. Step 1. Make sure you have the necessary tools. This includes screen, spline, spline installation tool, a flathead screwdriver, and a utility knife. Optional tools you can use are duct tape to secure the frame to the work surface and paper towels to clean the spline channel. Step 2. Prepare your workstation with the necessary tools. Ensure that your entire screen frame lays flat on the surface. Step 3. Remove the old screen from the frame. Start by removing the old spline. This is the rubber strip that holds the screen into place. Start by lifting the spline with a flathead screwdriver. Remove the old spline and discard. Once all the spline is removed, the old screen can be easily lifted out of the frame. Now is a good time to take a paper towel or cloth and clean your screen channel. Step 4. Now that your old screen is removed, take the new pet resistant screen and roll it out over the frame. The screen should hang over the frame at least one inch on all sides. Cut the screen so the roll is no longer attached. Step 5. Installing the spline. Starting at a corner, take the new spline and begin pressing it into the channel using the concave side of the spline tool. You can cut the spline after you complete each side, or you can keep rolling. Either way will work. Before you insert spline on the last side, be sure to add tension to the screen to remove wrinkles. If wrinkles appear, remove the spline from the last side, pull the screen tighter, and re-spline. Step 6. Now that the spline is installed, the next step is to cut off the excess screen. Use the utility knife and place into one corner of the frame. Make sure the knife is at a 45 degree angle above the spline and then start cutting away the excess screen. Be careful not to cut the spline. Your screen installation is now complete and you are ready to place it into your window or door.